Hello, it's Dottie B here. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me. Um, today I'm going to be making a um, stitch journal, art journal, junk journal type thing. Um, I'm going to have um, a cloth cover on it, um, which I'm going to embroider and do some slow stitching on um, and using bright colour fabrics. And then inside it's going to be um, paper, different types of paper and like a junk journal um so that I, but i'm going to be sticking um over the year i'm going to be sticking my some little projects inside so i just wanted something to hold um some projects in now i don't want it to be too big or, um some of the other journals that i've made are kind of um, a5 size um, i'm going to go down to um about an a6 it's just slightly bigger than an a6 i just um used a piece of paper just to see what, what, that, what that would feel like and I think that's that's going to be um, perfect for what I want I want some just just to do some little stitcheries and plonk them on the page or tuck them into little pockets and whatnot um so that's what I'm going to do today or I'm going to start today I think I will probably um start today and finish on another I think this will be a two video um project so what i've done first of all is um had a dig around in my stash and picked out some bright colored fabrics that i'd like to use um some of these are new some of them are vintage i've got vintage um napkin here that's got embroidery on it i've also got some doilies uh, this one here i have used for other projects um which has got little pansies on i have used some of the pansies already so i thought um i'd pop a pansy or two on and I've got a little doily, an old doily there that I got um, not too long ago. Um, that's another vintage napkin. Um, and then, oh, I've got some more vintage fabric here. And then I've got some newer fabric as well. So I'm going to have a little bit of a mix um, and see how I get on with that. Um, so I'm going to just pop those out of the way just for a minute. And so this was my template, but I, I've gone slightly... What I've done is I've cut a piece of... Um, this is like um, a canvasy type fabric. It's it's not too heavy, but it's not too flimsy either. I thought once um, I've got some stitching on, and I may also back it, um, it's going to be enough for a cover. So I think this is just slightly slightly bigger than my um, actual piece. I think this is just grab it. So I think it's about eight and a half inches by six inches. My fabric is. Um, so I'll just put that out of the way. So this is going to be my cover. And this canvas isn't that good, actually, because it's not quite... Um, I have cut it square, but it's not quite square when I fold it over in half. But um, I don't think it's going to matter because um, I may come over the edges anyway. But I think that's, that's roughly about right. So that's what I'm going to use for my cover, well, the base of my cover, because I'm going to cover this. Um, so let me just bring in my fabrics again. I'll just pop them at the top. Um, I'm wanting to use this. I thought it was really pretty, and that's, they're kind of the colours that I want to go for, the pinks. There's a blue, a bit of yellow, and a bit of green. So that kind of covers the whole base, really, doesn't it, if you think about it. So this is, I love this fabric here. This is quite vintage. Um, it is, I think it's, it feels kind of like a glazed cotton. Um, it has got kind of a, a little bit of a sheen to it. It's not that nice to, in fact, you can see how old it is. It has been washed, but you can see um, the coloured, well, I can't, I don't, hopefully the camera can pick it up, but um, this, kind, this is like a yellowish, this is a whitish. I think it's just how it's been stored. Um, it's not that great to sew on at all, so, um, but it is a lovely fabric. It is a lovely pattern. So I may use that. I like that. Um, I've also got this one here, which I like. Um, I use a little bit of that. Um, and then it's really a case of kind of, um, that's going to be used and that may be used. I'll pop those over there. It's kind of going to be eliminating what I do want and don't want. So I quite like that, but then I like that one. Do I want both of those? I kind of like the peachy pink one better, the blue one. And I like that green. Let's put that to one side. Um, then I've got to think about the fastening as well. 
um, I'm going to just have um, a strip that goes all the way around and then it tucks in. I don't think I'm going to go for anything too fancy. I'm just going to eliminate some of these just to, for now. Um, I may come back to them. I, I do like that. I, I might I might use that as the strap um, to go round, like the ribbon to go round. Um, that's nice as well. Let's pop that to one side, that one and that one. I'm just going to pop those out of the way. I think I'm going to narrow it down to, I've got this blue spot as well, which um, I thought went really well with these. Goes really well with that and then that. Mm, yeah, let's get rid of that one. That one's not going. Right, we're starting to eliminate now. Am I going to go with green or not then? And then there's that one as well. Right, I'm going to take that one out. I think we've got a little bit of a colour palette going now. Do I want a pop of green? No, it's not going, is it? That's got to go. Okay, I think we're I think we're there. That's my colour palette for <laughs> yeah. That goes really well, doesn't it? So I might use the blue the blue spot for the the ribbon. I think I might use that. It's um it is a cotton, I think it's like a cotton twill. It's a bit thicker than your average, your average fabric, but I've got absolutely loads of it. It only cost me a couple of pounds and I've got absolute meters of it. So um, it goes really well, doesn't it? Yeah, so let's get those to cover the journal. That to do the, um, the closure ribbon thingy so that can go last right get in there so back to my base fabric and this fabric so what i would like is this this flower when you close it up it's going to be kind of at the bottom so if i do that and that's where i need to cut it so i'm going to go slightly over the edge like i say i don't mind if it gets a little bit bigger um i'm not being mega precise with this it's just a rough idea of how big i want the journal just try and get it straight a little bit it's a bit wonky because it's an old hanky or napkin and it's been washed and worn so many times that it's kind of gone out of shape a little bit Okay, so what I might do is pin it. Let me find my pins. Should be in there. Um, I've got some here. Oh, look at that, how bent that is. <laughs> Ew. A wonky pin. Oh, I think. Yeah, no. Let's not have that. That one's not too bad. That's another crooked one. Look at that one. That's been in the wars, hasn't it? What's that one like? I don't know why I've got all the crooked pins. I don't know where the other pins are. Let me just... Um... Oh, right. Okay. They are where I thought they would be. Which is always nice. it's going to um, there. I mentioned in a previous video I've had a new um, holder for my iPad to film on um, and I'm still getting used to it so um, I do apologize if I'm because I've had to move my desk and it's not where I usually sit even I'm not even central on my desk so I'm still going trying to get used to it so the last video I did was kind of off centre quite a bit I didn't realise until some lovely lady Lucy I think it was told me <laughs> that um, do you know that you're a bit off centre and I didn't but um so I'm trying to I'm trying to 
get used to it so apologies if i don't think i am off center i think i've kind of measured it to where i am i'm supposed to be and i've put stickers on my desk to where my mat is supposed to lie so we're all we're all there at the moment my mat is still because i have i need to to be in the center i need to shuffle over that way really but um so it's kind of just getting used to a new position of where i'm sitting but um i'm sure we'll get there right so that's that now what i'm going to do is because this is nicely finished i'm not going to do anything with these edges um but the two that aren't finished i'm going to tuck over so they'll be like that and then once i have my backing on you won't be able to see see them does that make sense i hope so it will as i go on i'm just trying to find my um scissors put them away as well after every project i have to kind of have a tidy up and um, put all my stuff away um and it's not where <laughs> you would have thought that it would well it is where i thought it would be but um sometimes i think they're just going to be lying around on my desk right so it's just like a half it's a little bit more than half an inch it's more of a is it about half an inch it's about half an inch around just just these two sides where i'm going to have raw edges now i mean most of the time i don't mind having raw edges at all in fact i like raw edges but um i just thought for a change we'll have a a well not have one this won't get wasted i will use all of this i'll use the edging for something and we'll get used for another project because it's lovely lovely linen and it's the, of the kind you can't you don't you can't buy it anymore unless you know you can't buy it new anymore like that it's, it's just got such a texture to it um because it's vintage all right so what i'm going to do now is As I put in the pincer, I can always, I can, I can, I can feel now that it's starting to get a, um, a bit more sturdy, and a bit thicker. So we'll do a little, little corner. Little corner there. Let's tuck. I'm going to do it that way otherwise it's going to get the pins going to be hidden remember i'm going to go over this so it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect as we go along so then it will kind of hold down a little bit better like so okay oops my pins are in all directions but never mind so okay that's going to be how it's looking now it's not absolutely level it's not far off actually but um it doesn't matter this is slow stitch we're talking about and with slow stitch it doesn't have to be perfect stitches don't have to be straight you can do whatever you like so that's the first step um now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just grab this oh, i've just had a landslide of fabric because i've picked this up can i i'm just going to make sure that this is okay for um my fastening and what I'm going to do, I want it about, so I want to rip it, because I want that, I want that ripped edge. So, I want that, this edge is already ripped, but it is curling up. I don't know whether that matters or not, or whether I'll, will I like that or won't I like that? Um, not sure. Let's see how we get on. So, I don't want... A strip that's too 
thick because it's only a small journal. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, let's go for it. I don't even know how much I need. Um, so I want it to wrap around a times. I'm going to go. That should be plenty. that out of the way. Oh, there we go. Let's have a look. Let's see. Let's get rid of all of the little loose threads. It will fray to start with, but then it kind of it will kind of, it will stop fraying once it gets so far. Right, let's see. Let's see how we get on. So what I was thinking how I want do I want to start it there? I've got way too much, haven't I? <laughs> I don't know what that's Do I want to start there? No, I don't want it on the back. So I've got to start. What I want to do is I want to tuck that in like that. So that's going to go in there. You won't see that bit. So it'll go round. I could go round twice, I suppose. Nope. Just round once and then through. So really, I do not need that much. Let's take that off. That can be used for something else. I will keep that put into my scrap jar. I might even make that a bit shorter eventually. Because it's still quite, it's quite long. But that's going to go there. Oh, it's going to go a little bit up actually because I don't want that flower to be covered. So I... I'm going to have that there. The reason why I'm just doing that now is because when I put the other fabrics on underneath or I can't. No, I don't have not. I'm thinking I've got to attach that. I haven't got to attach it at all, have I? Or have I? I don't have to. No, I can't. I don't even know if that's the right way. Right, we'll sort that out later. It can't be attached, whatever. It can't, what I mean is, when I'm in mean attached, I mean it can't be sewn down there because obviously you won't be able to get it, the thing through. Um, no, okay. I had a mind brain block, blockage then, I think. Right, let's think about what fabrics we're going to have on. Okay, um, put it the right way out. Kind of thinking. Nice, isn't it? But it's going to be quite a deal. What I'm thinking is having, I was going to have three strips of fabric there. And is that one going to be too narrow? If, or I, could, I don't suppose. I could just do that, couldn't I? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So let me rip some of that off. Well, I don't know if this is going to rip or not. Oh, yeah. Oh, it slips really nicely, actually. It's quite easy to do. All right, so. Right, let's get rid of that. So, I'm going to... That can go over as well. I'm going to...
and press. Where I want my top edge to be. And then I can put that over the top as well. If that's going over the top, I may cut the other one off, cut, cut this off. I'm not sure yet, I don't know. We'll see. This is all. Well, we'll decide as we're going along. Quite like that flower. But then I'm not going to see that one, am I? And I need, I need the front showing more, so I'm going to have it like that. That one will just have to be used for another, another project. I'll cut that off and save it. So that's going to go there. Again, let's just this fabric doesn't like being pinned any pinholes let me show you any pinholes stay they did on the can you see that it's like paper the pinhole stays it doesn't doesn't go back. So what I'm going to try and do, that's not right is it? That's right, like that. I'm going to try and pin just the back bit because once I sew into this it doesn't, the, the holes don't go so I have to be really careful. So those can be saved for another project. And that's that. And then I'm not sure how I'm doing the corners yet, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll sort that out once some um, once I get round to sewing it. I know what I've got. I know. There you go. Like that. That will do for now. Okay, so that's the first bit. And then I thought a strip of this, which is really pretty. This is a new fabric that I've got. I don't know what it is, what make it is. It doesn't say. it's quite straight pin through it because you're not going to see underneath there. That 
machen. a strip of flowers don't know um, how this will rip yep We're doing well with our ripping fabrics this is quite a thin fabric so I'm hoping you won't see through it some of this um, fraying edge. That one out there. Just cut some of that off. Okay. And again, that's going to go over the edge. And I oh, just had a thought. Let's get rid of that because that's going to go. I'm done again. I'm just going to go and tuck that under, yeah, so that we've got no um, raw edges on this one. Does that still look level? Too bad, is it? Like that, and that's okay. So that's kind of that for now. So avoiding the pins, it's going to look like that. Okay, I like that. Then what I was kind of thinking is possibly. Somewhere, I don't know yet. <laughs> and one of these the blues and I oh, like that orange as well, actually. But no, I can't do orange. There's no orange in this. So pink or blue, I think, will be the colour. Colour for that. Um then we've got this here. Oh actually I could do that there. Yeah. I could do that there. And then just have a little bit over. Yeah. Yeah, that would be nice. And then what I might do is I might do some stitching there. A little bit of stitching. Yep. I think. And then, right, let's decide. Shall we have blue or pink? I think blue is going to stand out a little bit better. So let's get a blue one. So, um, as long as I don't snip into the bit that... Of crochet that I want. I think they're all in. They seem to be all individually crocheted and then crocheted into the mat itself. Because so I've not had any of them fraying on me as I've I've cut all the rest off. And let's just snip out. Right. So what can you usually do? What I did last time. Let's just pull these little bits of. 
green bits that I don't want. I may have to go snipping a little bit closer. Let me just get a few other scissors. It's a little bit, it's been a bit tricky that one. before with it but um, I just don't want to snip into the blue Right, there's a tiny bit of green in, but I don't think you can really see it. Okay, so that's going to go somewhere. Oh, I have got some stuff for puffs, actually. Let me just um, grab my tin. Um, that's one of my really old ones. That would look nice on there, actually, wouldn't it? Have that one. I've got pink as well. That's quite an oldish one, I think. Blue, another blue. No, we need a contrast, don't we? What about that one? That's quite, oh yeah, that's nice. That has actually got a little bit of blue in it. No, I think that one. Let's get those out of the way. So we're going to have some, I think what I might do is start there. much that's the right way around it's not looking right there it's got to be something it's got it's got to be up there and do something else here. Hmm. Okay, I'll have to have a think about that. Don't go there, but would it go possibly there? Hmm. Or that one. I trimmed it down squarely. I quite like that. Mm, that would mean a raw edge, but um, right, look, okay. 
<laughs> get my words out right so we'll see so that's kind of my cover oops oh dear i've moved everything out of the way now right okay right so that's the cover so i'm going to go away and stitch into that um and then i'm also going to back once i've stitched everything then i will back that um now my plan is to back it with um a paper um but i'm i'm going to leave my options open because i may put a fabric on i may put a fabric on and then do a pocket using oh um okay hang on just a minute this is right i'm just give me two seconds to find i have something for another project and i haven't used it these will these go as a little pop pocket if you kind of if i kind of oh, it goes that way anyway if i kind of i don't know whether it's going to fit no are they too bright? I've got that one as well. Do they go? Or are they too bright? Or do I use not this one, but or another one? I don't know which way that goes. A doily. Anyway, I'm going to do pockets. So I may I may back that with fabric. Ouch! <laughs> I may back it with fabric. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to leave my options open for that. But So I'm going to pop those in there. I'll pop those in just in case I want to use them. But I don't know. I think I think they're not right. They're not the right colour. So I'd, I'm not sure on that. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to go away and do some stitching. So I want to show you what I'm going to do um, for my pages. Um, so again, I'm going to take my template. Oh, hang on. Mm. Come back. I've got these as well. I did say for all the projects that I'm doing this year, I'm going to try and get this up. These, this is um, monogram for my initial F for Sally. And I was going to try and get one of these on to every project that I did if I could. And it would be ideal for one of those, wouldn't it? So I'm hoping to get one of these little linen monograms. So I'm hoping, even if it goes on the inside, or it could go on the back maybe, I don't know. I'm going to put one of those on. Um, that, so that's that. So I'll come back later with that and show you what I've done. Um, so inside, I have got my papers out. Um, I've gone and looked for this book here. Um, I bought it to rip up. And I have ripped up because I, um, I made some cards with some of the flowers. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? I would, um... Oh, it's a middle one as well. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? So what I'm going to do is going to snip, snip that away and use the double page. And that's got a lovely one on as well. I like that. So I'm going to use at least one of them, maybe two. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's a nice one. That kind of goes goes with the pinks. Oh, look at that one. Tiny. Delphinium. I love delphiniums. So anyway, I might do another one of those. Um, I've got this book here as well, which um, I bought to put up. I don't think I've actually... <laughs> Someone's dried flowers in it. It's a bit more modern, though. I think oh, I want more flowers. <laughs> it's a bit more modern, that one is. So I'm not sure about that one. Now, I went out at the weekend because um, I do I buy and sell vintage as well. Um, and I went to a, um, a car boot sale they're called here in the UK, um, like a flea market type thing, 
yard sale-y type thing that you'd probably have um, in the States, maybe. And I got this book here. Uh, it has been it has been used because some of the pages have been taken out. And you can just, I don't know whether you can see these or not, but um, you can just see where someone's, can you see that, where someone's um, written in ink pen? Get the little, I don't know what it says, but um, well, that says Aug, August, or oh, July, J U L, Oct. So it's some kind of date thing, date leisure, ledger. But, um, yeah, so it was it was like this when I got it, but um, look at all these pages, really lovely. So um, again, I'm going to snip, snippity snip here. Uh, yes, anyway, so I bought this one and two others, which are brand new. One's about the same size as this. Oh, and one's bigger, like A4 size. And um, for a pound, one whole pound, one whole British pound for three books, three old books. I was so pleased. I kind of skipped away with them. <laughs> so... Oh, look at that, that's um, had a little nibble. It doesn't matter, I suppose, but because um, it's not going to be... I suppose it matters anyway. So I'm going to put one of those in. I might do two of those. I want about... How many do I want? I think I want ten. A signature of ten pieces, possibly. I'm going to see how how thick it looks. I've got this book here. had this for years as well. I bought it to um, from a I bought it from a charity shop actually for my daughter because she just liked the pictures when she was younger but she's um, she doesn't want it anymore and there's some really nice um, natural world pictures in here. So I'm going to um, use this. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? I'm going to use this as well. But I'm just going to tear the pages out of this. I think I can find something that catches my eye. It was only about a pound from a charity shop. Oh, look at that. That's nice. But I don't want that. Oh, I don't want beetles on the back. Oh, look at that. Good flies. Well, moths. Are they moths? Yeah, I think so. And butterflies. That would be nice, wouldn't it? I'll take that page out. Because that one's going to be folded in half to make two pages. So how many is that? I think that's four I've pulled out altogether, isn't it? One, two, three, four. Then at the charity shop this week, I got this paper for eight pence. And it's, can you remember graph school? It's uh, graph school, graph paper at school. <laughs> You'd be giving these and you'd be, oh, graph paper, what um, torture, maths torture, are they? Um, yeah, where you had to draw a line and do a graph and everything. This, so the graph is graph paper. And then look at that. It's, um, got loads of triangles on. So I'm going to have a triangle one. And it's even got hole punctures. So what was that? Is that number five? One, two, three, four, five. That's number five. I like the colour of that graph paper because it's a yellowish colour there or white. They might even be photocopies to be honest. Well, they don't, no, they don't look it. I'm going to have that one. For, that's number six. I've got some spotty there as well. Let's take one of those. Yeah, so eight people for all of that. Then, I don't know whether you have these or not. Um, in, I think they're Italian though. Um, when you get um, tin, well, ours come in tins of um, 
amaretti biscuits. They're like little round almond shaped biscuits. And I got these, I got a tin um, a couple of years ago at Christmas and I thought the packaging, the, the, what, 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 the kind of like wrapped like that and then with a twist either side, like a little like, like a Christmas crockery type thing. And I <laughs> straightened them all out. I think I may have taken an iron to them as well at the time. Um, but I thought how lovely they were. The packaging is just really nice. There's a blue, yellow and a green one. Sorry, blue, red and green. Sorry. So, I've only got a few, but I thought that would be nice as well to be a, make a page. So I'm going to take the... Take the blue. I'm going to take the blue. The blue one. Okay. At the same charity shop, I got this one as well. This book, which has got graph paper in. This is this is the kind I remember. We used to have these at school. And then you get your ruler. Where's my ruler? Then you get your ruler. And you'd have to do that. Do that. And then write your numbers and um yeah. <laughs> oh, that one's already out. Actually, we'll have that one. There we go. So we'll have that one. Then I've got this old piece of paper here it, that I received from when I did a, a stitchery swap. I received this from a lady called Claire. She sent it me and her the piece of stitchery she sent me was called the Bridal Seamstress. And um, I sent her a piece as well of embroidery, but I don't think I named mine. But um, I thought that would be quite nice to pop in with the writing, the old writing. Which is out of an old book, 1911. Hmm, it's quite old, isn't it? So, got that. And then I've got, oh, look at this one here. This is music paper. A piece of music paper. I thought I'd use that for a page. That's got to be 10, hasn't it? I've got these little, these aren't old, these are new. You can see the insides of them, the little envelopes. I think I've got a few of them. One with a rain, reindeer. Kind of Christmasy maybe that one, and one with a map on. That, I don't know what that is. It's just a piece of paper. It's not old. Some more music things. I thought maybe I could do. Oh, that's one there. But it's not old. It's just, um, but it's made out to be like an old postcard. I thought maybe I could do some um, little pockets. Maybe I've got a brown paper bag. Maybe I could do a pocket with that. I like the edge, but would it be practical trying to get, <laughs> get something in there when it's already ripped? I'm not sure. I'll do that. And then I've got some brown packaging paper. It's an envelope, but I can. It's like double layered. Only myself to blame when they come to be blunt next time I use them. See how many one, two, three, four, just double sided four, five, six. Seven. 
seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm not going to use that one and I'm not going to use that one. Put that one out of the way. So that's ten. So just and once I've got my stitcheries sewn in and maybe some pockets added. I think that's going to be enough. So 10 sheets will make, four, is that 40 sides? If I do both sides? I think it is. One, two, three. Yeah, 40 sides, so that's going to be adequate. So that's going to be my inside once I, um, once I rip them to size. They've all got to be around about this size here. If I One. I want, yeah, I want that um, long bit on it. So it's going to be somewhere there. sizes so I'm going to go in a little bit on this one. I can't um, quite get it. A little bit different size. I don't think I need to go anywhere with this one. I think that one's perfect. That one's perfect. I think this one might be as well. It's going to be a bit too long. It's slightly too long. I'm going to get a little bit of this off. It doesn't rip very well, I don't think. Although it will go with that other, the blue spotty thing that I'm going to wrap around it, the tie. Okay. 
edge. So I don't think I'm going to do anything with that one. It's just it's my template again. It's a shame that it, the writing is going to be um, cut off, but. Um, Okay, never mind. There we go, that's that one. Another one of these. to see if it's okay. So we'll just do the bottom. Which way I'm going to? I want that one on the outer side, I think. The butterflies, I'm not sure. Um, no, I'm going to have the flowers, I think. As you can see they're not all the same height or the same width but I'm quite happy with that so I'm just gonna grab a couple more clips to hold them in place like that so they're already so upside down They're all ready to sew in to my journal when I finish the, the sewing. So I am going to leave it there for today. I'm going to get all these attached and then I will come back in my next video and um, show you how I'm going to embellish and then add my signature to my journal like so. I may have to trim that's not looking promising. <laughs> it's all sticking out. It doesn't matter too much, but I may have to just trim slightly, I think, just to get it looking even. But um, that's how it's going to look. Oh, and then obviously I'll have my windy thing around my closure, whatever it's called, around somehow. It's that way. <laughs> yeah, so it'll go. Yeah, kind of like that or something and then maybe a little a little something or other on the end maybe find a little charm or something i don't know we will see so that's it for now <laughs> if you want to see the state of my desk it looks awful now it's 
cluttered with everything so um especially when it was so neat and tidy when i first started but um that's um crafting and paper crafting and sewing and everything for you it um we create messes don't we get tidied up anyway so thank you so much for joining me and um i hope to see you again soon so take care bye bye <laughs>